Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the huge new promo that recently released for Gravity Falls Season 2 Episode 12. Because there is so much content and new footage in this promo, I'm splitting this analysis into two parts. By doing this, I can look at everything in detail and the video won't turn out to be exhaustingly long. Before I analyze anything, here's the promo. The last episode blew your mind. Now, lead back 50 years for a story a lifetime in the making. Why did you keep this a secret? What is this? Hi, I'm Steve Binington. You've read my journals? Ah! Sorry, just uh, <clears throat> got excited there about the journals. What you think you know, you may not really know. Hoping all this aligns exactly with my fanfic stand. If not, I will be very disappointed. Brand new Gravity Falls, Monday, July 13th at 8.30 on Disney XD. The promo starts with a boat called Stan O'War. It's clear that the Stan twins got along very well when they were children, and this is evidence for that. The boat could explain why Grunkle Stan wanted to fish with Dipper and Mabel in the second episode of the show, The Legend of the Gobblewonker. Grunkle Stan probably wanted to relive the memories he had with his twin brother because of his brother's disappearance to the portal 30 years ago. We can tell from this promo that the Stan Twins spent a lot of their childhood hanging out on Glass Shard Beach, New Jersey. They discovered cool things, they made forts, and overall they had a great time. This is noted in the journal when the author writes that he would be nowhere other than the lake because it reminds him of Glass Shard Beach where he spent his childhood. Before I go on further, I want to confirm a theory that will change almost everything you know about the Stan Twins. Take a look at this picture showing the two hands with names above them. As you can clearly see, the name with six fingers shows Stanford, and the name with five fingers shows Stanley. This means that the Grunkle Stan we've seen throughout the show is not named Stanford Pines, he is actually named Stanley Pines. This also means that the author of the journals is the real Stanford Pines. This theory has existed for a long time, and it's amazing to see it finally be confirmed. In this short scene, we see the author holding the net and trying to catch a bunch of eyes in the darkness. This could be one of the instances where the original Mystery Twins fight the supernatural creatures together. Watching scenes like that could be really cool because we could see how similar the two pairs of twins would be. Stanford and Stanley are the original Mystery Twins, while Dipper and Mabel are the current Mystery Twins. Seeing the parallels between them is going to be very interesting. The next scene shows a young Grunkle Stan sitting alone at the swing set where he and his twin brother used to hang out. This seems to be shortly after the author's disappearance into the portal, which would explain why young Grunkle Stan is alone and not with his brother. However, it's possible that young Stan is just sad because of his issues with his dad at the time. This next part is very important. We can see a hand push young Grunkle Stan on the ground. Take a closer look at the jacket sleeve and try to remember if you've seen it before. It was shown in Dreamscapers in the background of Grunkle Stan's boxing memory. If you haven't figured it out yet, this jacket was worn by the dad of the Stan twins. It makes sense that Stan and his dad don't have a good relationship because of a certain book shown in Not What He Seems. When there were a bunch of books on the shelf, one of them was called Daddy Issues. This scene shows the building of the portal with young Fiddleford McCucket doing work while the author of the journals is most likely looking at plans for the portal's functions. This part shows that Grunkle Stan is disguising himself and changing his location many times so he would not get in trouble for his illegal activities. This was explained in Not What He Seems because he had so many different IDs and he kept changing his identity while traveling across the country. There's a lot of possible reasons he could be doing this and it will probably be explained in the episode. In this episode, we are going to see how the journals were made. From the promo, we can tell that the author traced his hand and glued everything together to create the journal, but it will go into a lot more detail in the actual episode. There are a lot more secrets in this promo that I haven't discussed yet. Be sure to subscribe so you can check out part 2 of this video, which comes out in a few days. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and comment below to tell me what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.